this is The Late Report. Well, Dr. Stephen Hawking will conduct a lecture next week at the Seattle Opera House entitled, Is Time Travel Possible? Now, I don't want to give away the answer to that, but part of his lecture will involve having the audience get on a bus and travel to Enumclaw. <laughs> the Museum of Flight in Seattle will soon be getting the very first Air Force One, which was used by President Eisenhower in 1959. The plane still has an Oval Office, and some graffiti on the bathroom wall that reads, I'm Vice President Richard Nixon, and I just joined the Mile High Club. <laughs> Dan Savage, a gay cross-dressing columnist for The Stranger, will be a delegate to the King County Republican Convention in May. There is expected to be some confusion at the convention, however, since Savage, when in drag, is virtually a dead ringer for Congresswoman Linda Smith. <laughs> A Wenatchee man has formed a company called the City of Wenatchee Incorporated and says the City of Wenatchee must find another name or he'll find them $10,000 a day. <laughs> Subsequently, another resident has formed a company called a Wenatchee Man Incorporated and says the first guy owes him big time. <laughs> In King County, telephone con artists have been gathering social security and bank account numbers by posing as the County Jury Selection Committee. Victims were relieved to find out that they had only been robbed and that they were not actually scheduled <laughs> for jury duty. <laughs> A consultant says it will cost $197 million to remodel the kingdom. The consultant, however, did offer a less expensive alternative, which involves just putting up new curtains. <laughs> The Thomas S. Foley Institute for Public Policy and Public Service at Washington State University was dedicated on Tuesday and Wednesday of this week. It took two days because of the time involved in getting both of the big bronze ears into place over the entrance. <laughs> and now with a health commentary is our intern, Brooks Macbeth. Brooks? <laughs> it's your crowd, Brooks. Thanks, John. Thank you. Thank you. All right. This week, state officials announced that Washington State's birth rate is at a 20-year record low, a decline due to the fact that baby boomers are getting older and that more people are now focusing on careers. Mm -hmm. While careers are important, so are kids. And that's why I am stepping forward to make the following offer. I, Brooks Macbeth, am willing to impregnate every woman in the state of Washington. Now, 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 sure, this is a personal sacrifice, but it's one I'm willing to make for the children. Thank you. Of course, I won't actually be there to help raise the child, but imagine how cool it would be to point to the TV and say, look, there's Daddy. <laughs> I'd also like to add that I am six feet tall, a good height for breeding professional athletes. I am very well educated. Well, the you dub. Sure. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and that my sperm is both healthy and considered by many to be quite charming. <laughs> now, now there may be a couple of you out there with concerns about being intimate with a complete stranger, and I can understand that. So, some of my previous lovers have put together a little videotape to help vouch for my performance in the sack. <laughs> I was going through a rough time. <laughs> anyway, anyway, the point is, I am willing to have sex with each and every one of you. That's my commitment to you. You know, it's time we all put aside our own petty self-interest and do this for the children. <laughs> our children. So please, I mean, please, send your name and address and when your husband or boyfriend will be home to have sex with Brooks. <laughs> P.O. Box 24525, Seattle, Washington, 98124. And remember, it's for the children. Thank you, Brooks. Thank you. That's, that's, that's very noble of you, Brooks. It, it's for the children. Yes, I understand. It is. 
I understand that, Brooks. That's, that's very noble of you. Thanks. <laughs> Finally, Governor Lowry signed a bill making lethal injection the preferred method of execution in the state of Washington. Still at the bottom of the list, being chained to a rock while wild animals eat you alive. <laughs> this has been the late report. We're coming right back, so stay where you are. Well, I think it's very good. Right?